In this video, I'm going to be showing you the delayed timer that we added to the overlay optimizer, allowing you to pop up a page at any number of seconds when the person is on the page. And there you go, it pops up there for me. And it's bringing in the overlay optimizer again, so you can choose what content you want to go in here. But the delay timer, you have all the control over it, how many seconds and how many days apart you want it to appear. These pop-ups, they are effective. Some people hate them or some people love them. They do work. Uh, I think if you're going to use them, use them wisely. You know, don't have the pop-up actually triggering every day. Like, it can get very annoying for people, especially for your existing customers if they keep coming back to your pages and they're reading your content. But, um, they, you know, they work well. If you're going to use them, you can use them, obviously, for capturing, putting your lead magnet in there. Or maybe if you've got up-and-coming webinars that are going on, maybe notices you want to tell people about, coming events that are going on. And obviously, you can put other content. With the overlay optimizer, you could put in video and, again, links to other areas of your site, which you want to draw people to. So it doesn't have to always be that opt-in form, how we obviously commonly see them used. Let's jump into the site and look at the settings on this. So open up the live editor here. If we scroll down, you can see here I've added again, this is the no style button. Um, so it's the overlay optimizer, but I've chose not to use a button on this one. And of course, you can have a button as well. You can still trigger the overlay optimizer to come in when using it on a button. Um, it might be, you might want to put this as well further down the page, right at the bottom. If you don't use the button style, it means it'll be obviously the last script to load on the page. You know, but it'll still pop up and work. So let's jump in, look at the settings. Everything's the same as the overlay optimizer. And um, we just scroll down here, the window settings, so where you control your padding and obviously the shape and size of your window. If we scroll down, we've got overlay pop. And if we scroll down we've further, we've got the exit intent. We've covered that in another video. In this one, we're just looking at the settings for the actual delay effect, okay? So you can see here, I've put in 10. So that means it's gonna trigger every 10 seconds once that page is refreshed. Okay, and here below, we've got the option is for the number of days apart. And this is controlled by cookies again. So if the user actually clears their cookies, um, it would actually trigger the overlay just to work and pop up again on that site. So bear that in mind. Um, they can, uh, Some people might have their browser set to always clear cookies. So on the next day they visit your site, it pops up again. But if you do set this to two, three, four, five days, whatever you choose to set it to, it will be working based off the cookies for that person. Um, if you're going to use them, maybe three, seven days apart is, you know, it's a good number to use these for. But again, it all depends on what content you're putting in that pop-up. If you've got an event coming up, you might want to keep warning people about it. You know, last tickets are available, whatever you choose. If you're trying to really, you know, drum into people, they need to be clicking this, you know, pop in or getting on this call to action. You might want to have it running every day, but just bear in mind it can annoy people. We've got two options as well, hide on mobile and hide on tablet. Obviously, you'll know yourself if you're on a mobile device and you're getting a pop-up all the time, it can be annoying. So we've had these options to turn that off as well. And personally, I would use it. I would um, turn it off on mobiles and tablets. But again, it all comes down to the content that you're using for your own business. Um, a great you know, a great feature, we can increase this up to, let's, let's actually take it down to five. Now, some people actually set these you know, much lower, down to like zero and one second, okay? So... If you have it on to one second would be obviously when it triggers instantly. And it, sometimes that's actually the better option than having a delay. Um, the thing is, that as soon as they land on the site, they see the pop-up and they can choose straight away to close it or opt in. Another way to use them quite wisely is actually have a much longer like delay. So you could increase it up to 30, 40 seconds or more. I'm hoping that the person who sees it is more of a targeted user and they've been on your page and they may be reading the content and you know if they're scrolling down the page and say if they've been on the page for more than a minute you know they're obviously loving the content they're reading on your site or they're watching a video or something you know so they're more likely to opt in based off you know you've got a targeted person on your page think about them wisely if you're using it with a video you don't obviously don't want it to pop up halfway through a video on the page so if you've got a video that runs for two minutes and 20 seconds it'd be wise to have the overlay optimizer the pop-up effect to trigger in at the end of that video rather than halfway through it. If it pops in halfway through it, you're gonna annoy someone who's watching that video. So bear that in mind, use them wisely, and just think about how you're using them. I like to use them on content-rich sort of landing pages where there's a, like a full article, and someone might be reading it, and it then comes in one, two minutes later. So that's how I would use them myself. Let's change this to five, and if I click insert, and I'll save and close this page. Then we'll jump back and we'll just let's just reload this page here. So I mean it's a great little feature. It works well. 
not really much I can tell you about it other than just you know changing the seconds and actually the days apart. But please use them wisely if you use them on your sites. Let us know if they're increasing your opt-in rates. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please drop your comments below this video. We'd love to hear your feedback and love to see you in action as always.